Uh, hatch is open for free. Do I have any bridging charges? God damn it, Sunville. Go, go, Come go. with me! Operation, bro! Oh my, he's close! Play the bomb! Play the bomb! Reload! Reload! What's up, guys? Alright, so today, we are going to be going to do an operator guide on Ayana. So, a little while ago, you guys saw a video called How to Entry as Ayana, which was focusing more on the entry aspects of playing an entry operator using Ayana as an example. Today, specifically, we're gonna be talking about Ayana as an operator and what your role is expected to be, what you do as Ayana, talking about a loadout, talking about everything from the ground up to the advanced stuff. So let's get to it. So let's talk Ayana's loadout. So, I mean, look at this fancy looking gun. Sheesh. But uh, we have the ARX. I personally love the ARX. Love everything about it. It has a 1X and it has a 1.5 scope. You, the 1.5 scope is honestly is, is great. A lot of people love the 1X, but I personally love the 1.5. I think anytime you can run a 1.5, you should. My personal opinion about it. Here we have the uh, G36. You uh, have a, I think you get a, oh no, you only get a 1X. Interesting. I was under the impression that you get a, a 1.5 as well, but apparently you only get a 1X. Uh, honestly, I understand people using the G36C, like if you're like Ash versus the R4C, but I think compared to, comparing these two guns together, Ayana being like an entry frag kind of operator or secondary frag or a flex or whatever, you want her to win the first initial firefight she gets into. And I feel like overall, the ARX takes the cake on this. The G36C does have a little bit faster fire rate and a little bit more ammo, but the ARX has a lot of stopping power. I prefer the ARX, but maybe use the G36C. There's nothing wrong with that. Do this choice. All right, here, so this is going to be a little tricky because here you have a pistol, which I understand a lot of the console homies not want to use a GON 6. The pistol's fine because if you run out of ammo with ARX and you needed a pistol, I get that. But on PC, you, in my eyes at least, you are kind of throwing if you don't run the GON 6. The GON 6 is used for a lot of things, a lot of burn. A lot of the times I'll use the GON 6 for like when I need another frag grenade, but I just don't have a third. I use the GON 6, or if I need to burn and then throw a frag grenade, I'll use the GON 6. It helps out because you'll have three throwable burn instead of having two. And going back down, you have frag grenades and smoke grenades. I mean, do I need to say anything about this? Anytime you can run frag grenades, you run frag grenades. I, I, I can't really make a strong argument for bringing smokes over frags because there are other operators that can run smokes. You're better off just running frags. All right. All right, so let's talk Ayana's gadget. So what is Ayana's gadget? So. Gemini Replicator. Basically, you get a free drone. You can run around, do everything that your body movement could do. You can't repel and you can't shoot your gun, but you can walk in. So you get a more general feel uh, moving around than you would get, let's say, as a drone. Because you can drone, but you get like the ground up perspective because you're on the ground. But here, you can actually work on like how would you actually enter before you do so. So it, it does help quite a bit. Like sometimes I will go in like this, just to kind of like work on like how I would actually take a certain firefight. One thing that's special about her uh, clone is if it gets shot, it takes a while for it to come back. It takes, I, th I think it's like double or triple the speed. But if it doesn't get shot, if you are the one that ends it before it goes down, you get it back really fast. See, this is the third time I've used it. It will come back over and over, over and over and over in the round. As long as the round is still going. Now that's a replicator. So, like I said, a lot of times I will use that to kind of just feel my way out if I don't have a drone, especially, or if I use drones, I'll leave drones for my flanks. So I'll have a drone here for the flank, and I'll have a drone, let's say, just here for the flank. I mean, grant it's outside. But if I actually want to drone forward, I'll use the clone replicator to drone forward on the map. So I like using Ayana kind of as a flex, personally, because it makes it a lot easier it's because you have more intel. So. We'll get into that soon. Let's talk about your role as Ayana. So there's a lot of ways you can play Ayana. You can play her as an entry. You can play her as a flex. I wouldn't say that you can play her as a support, but a lot of times I will use, I'll function as like, let's say a secondary frag. So what is a secondary frag? A secondary frag is someone that basically follows up with the entry frag. So a lot of times, uh, let's say I'm here with a teammate, a teammate on the other side of this door. I'm like, hey, refrag my clone. I'll go in like this. 
So I'll, I'll basically sacrifice my my clone, which will come back, so it's not that big of a sacrifice. And the second they shoot it, they shoot it, and my entry follows up on that clone. A lot of times that will work. It works out a lot. And if they if it kills the entry, I'll just run in after and try to follow up. So they basically have to kill three people instead of like two. And the reason why you wouldn't want to do that with your face is because we don't know where the, the enemy is at. I mean, yeah, we could join a boat. This is more of an advanced play on being able to follow up on a drone. So like you can do this with like a drone, but the powerful thing about the clone is that no one really knows if it's a clone or not. So most of the time, enemies will shoot it no matter, no matter what, just to make sure that it's not you. So a lot of times if you can, like, let's say your entry is following up on a drone. A lot of times enemies will ignore the drone for the person that's behind the drone. So it doesn't work nearly as well as the clone does. Another thing I like to use the clones for is burning the Aruna Gate. So you can run your clone through an Aruna Gate and it will burn the Aruna Gate. Your clone will get destroyed, but like I said, it'll come back. So it's not that big of a, not that, not that big of a problem. One of the more advanced plays I like to do personally as Ayana is baiting your clone, pretending like you're using it. So people feel like you're coming in as a clone and you just kind of run in and try to take an aggressive fire fight. A lot of people won't fall for this, but if you're in a situation like it's a 1v1 and you're like this. And you usually win. Ayana is a good duelist. You're good in the 1v1 situations. A lot of times you'll function as an entry frag, but you have a lot of flexibility. Like I said, personally, when I play Ayana, I'm playing more as like a secondary frag or flex because you are able to set all your all your drones to watch flanks or whatever, and then have your drone, your clone, to drone forward. Not, not last but not least, here we have the frag grenades. Frag grenades are my bread and butter, personally, I love them. So when you're Ayana, you will usually go in underneath of the site to uh, help clear out the caves or whatever. I'm trying to find a floor that's reachable. Really quick. There we go. You like want to go underneath and like destroy your floor so your team can work the work the vert, open a wall, etc. So let's say they're trying to open up the wall that's like here. There's not a wall there, but let's bear, bear in mind. So I'll go underneath and toss a grenade like so. Making sure I get everything off that wall. Shooting up to get the cane off. Etc. Do whatever. Gotta use both grenades. That's fine. The timing is a little tricky. I did make a how to throw a grenade video, but it is still in the moment. If you're getting shot at, sometimes you will mess up. Don't be afraid to throw the second grenade on it. It's better to make sure you get everything off than to save a grenade in your pocket for you to die later in the round with a grenade in your pocket. Do what you gotta do. Get it in the entry. Get in if you'd have to. Get the, whatever's on the wall off and you should be good. So let's take you guys to what a normal round looks like when you're playing Ayana. So I'll get to where I'm going to entry in from. Let's say this window. All right, put it up. I'll throw a drone just to make sure everything's clear. Good to go. I'll join around my area that I'm going to entry in from. And then I'm going to put a, a drone on the most aggressive flank where a roamer is probably going to come from. Let's see if teammate dies. And then I'll clone in. Just to really make sure everything's good to go. Looking like this. All right, room looks good. I'll check my drone one more time. Boom. And I know the only spot they're going to come from is probably going to be that door or they already swung out already. So I'll jump in, check, check this area, check the door, come over. Making sure as I come across. All right, so now I'm here. I'm in a good spot. Check your flank again. Hold up one more time. Making sure nobody's coming from this area. Still good to go. And then droning forward, coming back. Be careful though, because when you use a clone like this, let's say someone is around the door like, like so, they will push out. So just, just be aware. People will go off the audio. It is very loud. So sometimes that's why 
we'll call this an Ayana bait. Sometimes you can do this because people will think that you're using your clone and then you can just kind of, you know, maybe just take an aggressive fight. They're not really going to expect it. They're expecting the clone. And then let's say there's something on this wall that my teammate can't get open. I'll shoot open the top, throw a grenade over the top, get the stuff off the wall so my teammate can open it. And then I'll do whatever else at the end. I can aggress from the wall. I can flank around and kind of get, go a little ratty. I do whatever I need to. Biggest thing about Ayana, especially if you have frag grenades, is to make sure you help your hard breach get whatever's on the wall off the wall. And then after that, you're looking to help defend where the plant is going to go down. You're looking for picks. You're looking to take map control. You're looking to help out your team, play off your team, watch your flanks. All that other good stuff. But uh, yeah. So now, guys, we're going to go into a couple clips of me playing Ayana in the right way. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to jump you. Two swung me. Two swung me. And I'm going to plant. Freezer, freezer. I don't like that. Two in here. Two in here. Two in here. I'm reloading. Cover the diffuser. No top ready. My push down. Here. Yo, it's that. It's that. It's that. Brick, 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 safe, safe, we're in master, in master, in master. Last one, top, red, on the bomb, on the bomb, on the bomb. Don't peek, you don't have to peek, you don't have to peek, back off. Let him kill me. Yeah. Nice, let's go, baby. Dude, okay, back. Dude, nice. 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 Someone join me in up top. Don't worry about it. Kill them all. I like that too. C4. Oh Alright guys, that's all I got on my operator guide of how to play Ayana. Ayana is one of those operators that's a little bit more flexible. You have frag grenades, you have a good gun, you have a good gadget that comes back on and over and over. You have a lot of intel gathering abilities as Ayana. Very flexible op, very fun to play, very fun to use. Very hard to master, so hope you guys learned something. If you guys want more operator guide videos like this, let me know down in the comments what operator you want to see next. All right, guys, till next time. Peace out.